Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Tonight's dinner, we are making sausage and peppers. So, before we jump into our recipe, let's go over the ingredients. So your ingredients are, you'll need a variation of mixed peppers, of mixed colored peppers. I have a combination of green, red, and yellow peppers. You're gonna need two, um, you're gonna need some sausages. I have two packs here, so you'll, you'll need two packs, okay? And that's all you're really gonna need for the recipe. Now, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna start chopping our peppers. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna take it, we're gonna line it up and we're gonna push down just like this. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it into our bowl, okay? All right, and that's what we're gonna do for each one, all right? So I'm gonna show you again. We're gonna take it, make sure we line it up. And we're gonna do that. So it's pretty simple. Um, now this is a this is a dish that my one of my viewers wanted me to make, so I'm making it for them. Now this dish is um kind of like a an Italian, well. I'm not gonna, well, it's more of like, it's a dish that you can make for any time. Now, this is more of a Italian dish than ever because sausage and peppers are the easiest thing to make in the world, okay? Now, when this process is done, then I'll take you over to the skillet and we'll start, we'll get started on the skillet portion, okay? But I gotta, but I gotta cut these peppers up a little. I gotta cut these up a little, okay? So we're gonna cut these. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut these peppers up. And then once these are cut, then I will show you what um, the next step is gonna be because this is such an important part of this recipe that I want you to really have an idea. Now this recipe, remember, is a very good recipe. But you guys have to remember that the recipe cannot be rushed. We can't rush this recipe. This recipe has to, we have to take it nice and easy. Okay, okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna take out our bell, our, um, our peppers out of here. And all I'm doing now, how I'm gonna do this is I'm just cutting up my peppers, okay? And I'm kind of cutting them into thin strips. So I'm kind of cutting them into thin strips. See, kind of just like this, just a little bit thinner like thin strips, so see? You want your peppers to be like strips. Okay, so now we have one more pepper and then I'll take you over to the stove where we'll get started cooking. Okay, so what I do is I line it up and I just chop. Now, I'm gonna do the same thing with this one because this one really didn't make it through. Just got one more and then we'll start cooking. There we go. All right, so. I got all my chopping done, so now I'm gonna go over to the stove and we're gonna start cooking. Okay, so clear this out of the way. So before we before we start cooking, this is what your peppers should look like. So you see how they're cut into, um, you want them cut into like this, so little, kind of like little strips, okay? Okay, so now we're gonna take you over to the stove. So I'm gonna turn my camera towards the stove and we're gonna get started. So. I'm gonna cook this on medium. And we're gonna get started. Okay guys, so. Okay guys, so what I'm gonna do is, let me get my pan, my pan's on, my heat, I have it on medium. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cook this all together. So the first thing you will we're gonna throw in is our peppers, okay? And we're gonna kinda let these cook down. Now the goal to this rest for this recipe is to kinda cook this on medium, okay? So we're gonna cook our peppers and then we're gonna put our sausage in. Now, this, is um now the casing 
pretty sure it's still on, but we're not we're really worried about that. Okay, I'm just gonna put all my sausages in and we're gonna cook this until the, the vegetables have cooked down and until the sausages have turned brown until they're not pink anymore in the center. Okay, so we're gonna put our sausages in. Now I know this is kind of crazy, but we're gonna be fine, okay? So you see how I'm kind of just putting them on top. Now this is gonna cook, but we're gonna kind of stir everything together. It's a lot. So what we're gonna do is, I, now what I have to do, whatever chef does, I'm gonna wash my hands and then we're gonna start cooking this together, okay? All right, so. I'm going to wash my hands and I'll show you what we're gonna do next. Okay guys, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna cook this until the sausage is no longer pink. Now we have our, our heat is on medium. So I know it's kind of difficult for you guys to kind of see, but you basically wanna cook this until it's no longer pink. Now I know it looks kind of crazy, but you could see that the sausages are all in. Okay, and I, now the way to tell that your sausages are cooked is because you can you can kind of get a gentle idea of what they're gonna look like. Now, we are going to let this heat up because as you know, our pan is not quite heated. You want it, now the pan has to kind of cook a little. Now you see the peppers are kind of at the bottom of the skillet, but that's fine, okay? But you want these to kind of cook, you want these to kind of have a cooked evenly. You want these to cook really, now, remember, we are not rushing the process. We're gonna let this cook nice and slow, okay? We don't wanna rush the process, okay? This is not a dish that can be rushed, okay? Just remember that. You cannot rush this dish, you gotta come. We're gonna take this nice and slow. We're gonna do it step by step, okay guys? Okay, so all we're gonna do is we're gonna wait for our pan to kinda, kinda uh, get nice and hot, which it is. Now. You want to cook your sausages until they brown, until it's no longer pink. Now the casing for the sausages are still in there, which I know, which is fine. Um, you want to cook your sausages and you want to cook your peppers down. Now, you want your peppers to cook down, but you don't want them to have, you don't want them to cook so much that they get like, kind of like, um, Front, like let's say let's say you don't want them to get too too soft you know because then they'll disintegrate and they're gonna turn into the you know they're not gonna cook you won't be able to see them when you make a sandwich so we're gonna cook this until the sausages are nice and brown and it's gonna take a while so we're not in a hurry okay it does take a while but what you want to do is you want to stand at the stove and you want to cook your sausages until they brown okay See, you want to cook them all. Now it's a lot, there's a lot in here. So I know this is kind of crazy, but you want to cook this until they brown. Now, what you want to do, now, as this is cooking, which we are, you guys already know this, that this is going to release a lot of its own oil. So there's no need for oil because the sausages have quite a bit of fat in them. Okay, and there's really just no need for oil. So as you can see, now the pan is kind of sizzling a little bit and it's gonna be kind of difficult to kind of stir those peppers. So what I'll do to get them kind of stirred in is I'll kind of move the sausages to the side so you can get these peppers kind of cooked down. You want these to kind of cook a little bit because what you want is you want them to be, you want them to kind of cook down and kind of have a good flavor. You know, guys know what I mean? So I'm gonna take the sausages, not, not taking them out, but I'm gonna kind of move them to the center because I want this, I want my mixture to cook down with the sausages, okay? Now, you, now, you, we're serving this with some Bob Evans mashed potatoes, but you could serve this over anything you want. Um, you can do a salad, 
which is what we're probably going to do. You can do some rice on the side. You could do some vegetables on the side. You could do um, anything you want, okay? But the point is, we're letting this mixture kind of cook down, okay? There's no oil in here, remember. So here's a little tip for you guys, okay? Remember, and I've told you guys with this, I've told you guys in my dirty rice video on my ground beef, when you do not add any oil, because the sausages have all the fat they need, they have all the oils they need, okay? It's gonna release so much of its own oil. All right, now I'm just cooking my peppers on medium heat. Now the brats, I'm gonna call this, I'm gonna call this kind of brats. The sausages are in here, they're cooking away. We're gonna, we're, we're gonna let these peppers kind of get cooked down a little, okay? Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my sausages back in on top of these peppers. Cause what I want is I want these to kind of cook with everything. Now this is gonna take the long, this is gonna take a while so remember, you don't want to rush the process. Because if you rush, then it's not going to be good. You guys know what I mean? You don't want to rush. You want to let this kind of sit and cook for quite a while until your sausages are cooked. Now, how do you know they're cooked through? Well, you're going to know they're cooked through because they're going to have, they're going to turn brown. They're going to be nice and golden brown. Okay? You want these to be cooked all the way through. So... Okay, so you're just gonna kind of cook these down. The heat's on medium. Okay, all right. Now, as that's cooking, I'm gonna get my water, Chris. I'm gonna drink some water while we're cooking here. Okay. Back to the recipe. So, you can see that, now this, remember the sausages are not browned yet. We're gonna have to flip them over. Cause remember, remember guys, this process takes a while. So remember, remember, like I'm gonna keep repeating myself, I'm sorry. But remember, you, can, you can't really rush the process. Um, Cause if you rush the process, then it's not really gonna, you're not really gonna cook right. So you wanna make sure you're you want to make sure you're cooking them on medium heat. You want to flip them as you're cooking them just to make sure they're cooking evenly. Okay, but you want to let this cook for quite a while until the sausages, the sausage is nice and cooked and until you see the nice brown. They're gonna turn brown once they're, once they kind of cook for a little bit, okay? Now what you also wanna do is you wanna stir, you wanna get your peppers. Now remember, remember this guys, your, the sausages is on top, but the vegetables are at the bottom, okay? The vegetables are still gonna cook, so they'll still cook the same. But you want your sausages to kind of cook even, okay? See? Now, the, remember, they're not browned yet, and that's fine. Okay, you just want to kind of baby. Now, this is going to take a while, okay? So what you want to do is you want to stand up the stove, and you want to kind of babysit everything. You want to babysit this until this is cooked. You want to let the peppers kind of cook down. You and you want to let your sausages get nice and brown. So see if I kind of see. So you want to let them kind of cook. Okay, you want them kind of cook. Now, if they smell like they're burning, it's really not it's gonna be fine. Okay, but you want to let this kind of cook together on medium until the sausages are nice and brown. Okay, and that's gonna take a while. Now the peppers here. Um, you guys have to remember they're at the bottom of the pan. So what I'll do to get them cooking a little is I'll kind of give the peppers a stir at the bottom to let these cook a little bit more too. See, these are what your peppers look like at the bottom. So you want to let everything kind of cook together until this is nice and browned. Until, this, the, the, until the peppers are cooked. Now what I'm doing here 
is I'm kind of giving them kind of some TLC, which is tender loving care. I'm giving them tender loving care. And I'm kind of cooking this until this is until this is cooked through. Okay. So we're gonna let that kind of cook and hang out. Because remember, this takes a while. So um, let me show you what we're gonna have with it. So excuse me. So this is what we're gonna have with it. I'm gonna let my pan just kind of sit and hang out because I don't really feel like babysitting it right now. This is what we're having with it. So it's it's Bob Evans Original Mashed Potatoes. These are so good. They're really good. You guys need to try these. If you guys try these mashed potatoes, tell me what you think of them because they're good. Okay, so our skillet is doing great. Now, as you can see now that... Now, remember, when these turn brown or when these uh, get cooked, when they're cooked all the way through, then we'll know that they're done. But you see that they're still kind of browned, and that's fine. They're still good. They need... They remember, remember, this dish does take a while to make, so you, we're going to have to kind of have some patience here, which, you know, you kind of got to... You kind of got to get a nice little gift of what I'm trying to say. So you got, you're, so listen guys, this is going to take a while to cook. So we're going to have to kind of have a little bit of patience. But remember, this is not something that can be rushed. You, we're going to have to take our time. So we're going to just let, we're going to continue to let these kind of cook a little. Okay. You want to kind of flip them and let them cook a little bit. You want to kind of let them kind of sit and cook. Now, um, what was I going to So, listen, guys. So, if you think that they're not cooking, they are. Remember, like I told you guys, they take a while to cook. So, you, we're going to have to kind of be, um, be a little bit patient with this. Because, remember, this does, this, this does take a while. So, Okay, guys, so now, um, yeah. Okay, so I just raised my heat a little bit so if this can happen a little bit more quicker because this is kind of taking slow. But remember, we're still going to cook these until this is brown. You want the sausages to kind of be nice and brown. They're going to be so good. Now, we're going to have these, like I told you guys, this is kind of like a brat. These are brats kind of. Because basically what you do is you cook your sausages until they're brown. Then... You take, so basically here's what, I, here's what I'm imagining it served, right? You put your sausage in a bun, then you put your peppers on top, and it is so good, you don't even know, okay? Now we're gonna cook this mixture for, I don't know, maybe, we're gonna, so you wanna let this cook until they're brown. So I'm gonna show you. So what I mean by that is that when they're brown, they're cooked through, okay? You wanna let them kinda cook. And this is gonna take a while. Okay, but you just want to let them cook a little bit. Now, you do not, now the one thing you don't want to do, you don't want to raise your heat too high, because then they can go from browning to burning. You don't want them to burn. You want them to really cook right. So, as you can see now, look. You see how the, so look, this is how you know that your sausage is kind of getting brown. This, this right here is what you do want. You want them to kind of brown up. So that's what's happening right now. We're doing a great job. We're gonna keep cooking them. And then remember, they take a while to cook, so you kinda gotta babysit this. You gotta have some patience. You just gotta do it. Now, this recipe, um, I've seen so many people make it on TV. I've watched cooking videos about this. Now, the one recipe, this is kinda the same recipe. I saw the same recipe, but I saw it done in a slow cooker. And you guys know I love the ease of a slow cooker. It's I love the crock pot meals because it's so easy. But the recipe I looked at said that it takes six to eight hours to cook on low. So, you know, I don't want to really, I mean, that's easy. But, you know, I don't want it to cook that long. So, this is a little bit more quicker. So, you see what I mean? The sausage is getting nice and brown. That's what you want. Okay? We're going to do the same thing with the rest. Now, what we'll do to let these cook a little bit quick, we're not going to let them cook a little bit, is we'll flip. Okay? So, the whole point of this recipe is that, Remember, you gotta have patience and you gotta let them cook all the way through. 
Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm kind of moving, I'm gonna move my sausage to the side so I can flip them. Cause I wanna let them, you wanna let these kind of cook. Now the peppers at the bottom here, I'll give them a kind of a little bit of a mix. Okay, but you see what I mean? So I'm gonna flip them and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of leave this alone for a couple minutes to, um, and I'm gonna let them cook by themselves. I'm gonna let them cook on their own for a couple minutes. Okay, but I'm kind of flipping them. See? And guys, don't worry. Now listen guys, once this video is done, once I upload it, I will show you guys what this, what the end product looks like, okay? But you can pretty much tell that the sausages are doing really well. They're cooking nicely. They're definitely not done yet, but you can see what I mean by now, but they're like cooking real good. Now remember guys, you do not want to raise your heat too high of a temperature, okay? You want to let these cook on. Now I have my heat in between, between like a seven and an eight. So it's like between medium and between medium high. I want to let these cook. I want to let these cook for quite a while until these are brown and until the peppers have really cooked down. And they, now, um, you don't have to worry about the peppers because the peppers will release a lot of its own, the, the peppers will release a lot of its own liquid. So it's fine, okay? But you want to let these kind of cook and brown and get all nice and they're going to be so good. And I know dinner's going to kind of take a while, but you guys know this, you guys know what I mean. Dinner does take a while when you're kind of standing at the stove, but you want to let this kind of cook a little bit, okay? Let this just cook. Now, this recipe, you guys have been asking me to make this for you guys. So, I'm finally delivering this recipe. This recipe is so good and it's so easy. Okay, so we're just gonna let this kind of just sit and cook. They look amazing. Now, you guys see what I'm talking about? So look, see? That's what they need to look like. So you see that, you see that the sausages are kind of they're not browned yet, but they're starting, okay? Remember, you don't want them to burn, okay? You want them to kind of cook nice and slowly, nice and evenly, okay? Look at that, you see that? That's flavor right there, okay? There means they're, mean, that means that they're cooking right. Now the peppers, remember, are at the bottom, but you still wanna kind of saute them to get them kind of, get them in, in there and let them cook, okay? All right, so we're gonna let this keep cooking. Okay, see? Look at that guys, that's what you need to have right there. Remember, they're not fully cooked yet, so you cannot eat this right now. They're not cooked, they're not fully cooked. They're just browning right now. They're at the browning stage right now. But they're gonna keep on doing that until they're fully cooked through, okay? And what, now meanwhile, while these are cooking, I'm gonna keep flipping them because I want them to kind of brown and cook on all sides until this is cooked. Now this looks so good. Now, remember guys, if you guys want to know how to make this recipe, you guys know where to go. You guys know to go to my channel. You guys know I will have this recipe on my channel. You guys have nothing to worry about, okay? But we're just gonna keep cooking this until this, these are brown. Okay? All right, now, um, okay. So, um, <clears throat> all right, so guys, let me tell you this. So tomorrow I'm making another video. Tomorrow we are making slow cooker buffalo chicken sandwiches, okay? I've made that video before, but we're gonna make another one because you know, you can't have more than one. So we're gonna make another one, okay? Ooh, these are looking good. So, you guys can see what I mean now. You see how they're browning? They're not done, but they're browning. They're starting to brown a little. See? Um, now, listen guys, I know this does take a while, and I raised my heat up a little bit so that it can happen, a, so that they brown, okay? I want them to kind of sit and brown in the pan. You want them to have a nice, good color to them, okay? Look at that, guys. They look so good. Remember, guys, these are not fully cooked yet, so we're just going to keep cooking them. 
You want the pink to kind of disappear. You want so here's what you gotta do. <clears throat> so what you gotta do, you wanna let these cook for a long period of time until the sausages are no longer pink. Okay? You wanna let this cook until the sausages are no longer pink. Which takes which is gonna take a while, so you gotta have some patience here. Alright, but they look great. Now <clears throat> Now remember what I said guys, don't raise your heat to high heat to let this happen any quicker because all you'll do is burn them and we don't want this to burn. We want these to kind of cook nice and good. You don't, Okay guys, just remember, do not turn the heat to high because then they'll burn. Alright, we don't want that. We want them to cook a little. Okay, they're cooking nicely too. And it smells so good. Okay, look at this guys. It looks so good. Okay. So, all right, so as you guys know, the last video we did was, um, the last video we made was our dirty rice. Now, the dirty rice video was good, okay? But, if you guys remember, was it, let's see, what day was it? I think it was, I think it was Monday. So, if you guys remember, Monday we made our slow cooker chicken parmesan. Okay, that video is so good. So, if you guys want to see me make that video again, please leave it down below. Because I'll be making, I love chicken parm. I don't make it very often, but I would love to make it more for you guys. Okay, alright, back to the recipe. So, we're going to let our sausages kind of cook. The peppers are doing great. They're cooking down. They look awesome. We're going to let these kind of cook. Now, what I'm doing to this is I'm kind of flipping them because I want these to kind of cook. Okay. So I'm gonna show you guys what this looks like. Remember, these are not done yet. Okay, but they're, we're getting there. We're getting, we're getting, we're halfway there. So look, see, that's what they kind of look like right now. Now what I'm doing is I'm kind of roast, kind of getting the pan a little bit. Get that kind of sizzle going. All right, so we're gonna keep cooking now. I'm gonna turn this down just a little bit so it's not too high of a temperature. Yeah. Okay, so. I'm gonna let these kind of cook. Now what you're gonna do, now what I'm doing here is I'm kind of flipping them so that they brown, okay? I'm kind of flipping them so that they brown nice and good, so that they cook evenly. They're gonna be so good. Look at that guys, don't these look so good? Dinner's not even done yet. Now this video, I know it's gonna be a long one. But you guys have to keep in mind that this is why. Now, sometimes when I make my YouTube videos, um, I kind of like to do them like, I kind of like to do them, you know, one part at a time. But this time, we're not gonna do, we're not gonna have a part two. This is just gonna be all in one video, okay? So let's keep, let's keep cooking our sausages. They look good. We are doing such a good job with our sausages. Now remember, you wanna let these kind of cook you want to keep babysitting them for a while until they cook down. It's going to be so good. All right, now, a lot of you guys requested that I make this video, okay? Um, Doug, you're one of them. Zane is another one. And I got so many people requesting that I make this video. It's going good. That you guys don't even know. They smell, this smells so good, guys. I wish you guys could smell this. It smells so good. All right, so we're going to let them keep kind of cooking. I don't know if you guys can see me, but I kind of want to stand this angle so you guys can see what I'm doing here. So see guys, see, see we're just kind of giving them a nice flip every once in a while. Now, you want the you want this to kind of cook a little bit. You want this to kind of cook down, but remember, you want these to brown, okay? So see, I'm kind of, kind of getting them in there. You want these to brown quite a bit, okay guys? All right, and they look great. You see this? Look at this, guys. This looks so, so, so good. I promise you guys, this looks so good. Look at that. See, look at that. That's what you want. Now, we're gonna let these continue to cook on medium. Well, um, now guys, well, not medium. So the heat was on medium, but we cranked it up. To, it's like medium high. So we're gonna let these cook, cook, cook. Yeah. We're gonna let these keep cooking on medium high until these are nice and brown. Okay, 
We're gonna keep going. This is, looks great. Looks so good. Okay, just keep cooking them on medium high. Now look, see? Look at that. That's good. That's good flavor. Okay. What you wanna do is you wanna cook these down. You wanna let these sausages kinda get browned and cooked. This looks so good, guys. And look, you see our peppers? Now you probably can't see the peppers down in the pan. That's fine. But you can see now, if I kind of shake it, shake, shake a little on the burner, that they'll kind of cook up. See? Look at that. See that? This is going to be so good. Now, what? remember, we're going to let this cook. We're going to still let these cook, okay? But I'm kind of giving them some room. Now, guys, remember, guys, I don't have a really big skillet. If I had a big skillet, then I would do this, then it would all fit. You know, it would all make, we would have more, more room. Um, unfortunately, I just have this skillet, so this skillet will have to do. And this looks great, you guys can see. Look at this, look, see? I want these to kind of cook, they look awesome. And, and listen guys, once this is done, once this meal is done, this is gonna taste so good once these are cooked. It's gonna be so good, we're gonna just keep cooking them. They look so good. Now, if you guys want to know how to make this recipe, um, you guys know to go to my channel. You guys know that I will have this recipe on my channel. Um, now, so many guys, so many of you guys have been asking me to make brats, which brats are easy to make. This is basically what we're making right now, sauce and peppers. But I'm just gonna call this brats, just because brats are easy. See, look at that. That's what you want. Now. You guys also have to remember that we're cooking this on medium high to let these kind of let this kind of cook a little bit. You see, we're letting them cook a little. Now you want these to kind of brown up, which is what they're doing now. They're kind of giving up, they're kind of releasing their flavors. Which is you guys know what I like. I like when they release a lot of flavor and get kind of cooked. See that? Look at that guys. It looks so good. All right, so we're gonna keep kind of. Whoop. I'm gonna get these peppers off the bottom, or they're gonna burn. Okay. Mm -hmm. See how they're sticking to the pan? Mm -hmm. You really should have put the sausages in first, mm -hmm. and then the peppers on top. Okay. Because now the peppers are all stuck to the bottom. But you're doing excellent. Okay, just keep doing it. Okay guys, so we're just gonna keep <clears throat> we're gonna keep letting them cook. Now remember guys, we're gonna now at this point if your um sausages you want your sausages to kinda look like this. You got you guys probably can't see the pan, but you want them to kinda look like this by now. So you wanna kinda give them a mix. Mix it in. Now it's totally fine if we're moving the sausages around because that's basically what you kinda wanna do. You want them to kinda cook. Because remember, the peppers at the bottom are kind of getting in there. You want them to kind of have a good flavor to them. They're going to be so good. Okay. They look so good. Ooh, there's a lot of steam coming out of there. This smells so good. Now, this is what I kind of mean. So, you want to kind of get the peppers to kind of be nice and cooked. Okay, you want them to kind of cook a little bit. Okay, so you want to kind of let them cook for a little bit. And they're doing so good, they're actually browning pretty well. I'll show you guys in a minute what I'm talking about. I'll show you guys what this recipe um, looks like, because it looks so good. Okay, so you want these to keep cooking away. Now, this recipe is a great recipe to make. Now, if you guys are going to like a gathering or having a get together, this would be a great dish to take, okay? Because it's so easy to make, okay? 
kind of want to let these just kind of sit and cook for a little bit. Okay, but you guys see what I mean? Like, look, like, see? That's what the sausage should look like. See that? Look at that. Look, that's what it needs to be. This is going to be so, so good. Okay, so you want to kind of keep cooking them down. Now, the one thing that you do not want to do, you don't want to burn the peppers. You want to let this kind of sit and cook for a bit. This smells so good. Okay. All right, I'm going to turn this heat down a little bit. Back to, I'm going to, so if you, now guys, if your peppers kind of get a little bit burnt like mine are, just turn your heat down to medium. That's what I did. I kind of turned the heat down to medium a little bit. So to cook on medium, okay? Turn the heat down to medium so it'll kind of cook a little. This is looking so good. Now I'm going to show you guys, I'll show you guys in a minute what they look like. They look so, so good. Now, if you guys want to know how to make this recipe, you guys know where to find it. This recipe is so easy to make. Okay, guys. <clears throat> All right, guys. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna do nothing. We're gonna do nothing at this point. We're just gonna let them cook for a little bit. Okay. Let them sit and cook by themselves. See, keep that sauce. Okay, guys. But you guys can see that now. But you guys can see. But you guys can see now that the sauces are doing really good cooking. They're really cooking down. They smell amazing. Okay, you just want to let them. We're gonna now. <clears throat> excuse me. We're gonna let these kind of cook for a little bit. And once they're brown, one. Well, not, well, you know. <clears throat> well, you know, not brown. But once they're cooked through, then I will show you what. Um, the, I'll show you what this looks like. So, I'll show you what this, uh, what this, um, dish looks like once they're cooked. Hey guys, but you guys can, so, this is basically, so look, if you guys can see in here, which you guys can see, I have a great angle camera. This is what your, um, sauce and peppers look like. Now, Now guys, what I did was I turned the heat down to medium again, just so that they don't um, burn, because they were cooking a little bit too quickly. So I kind of turned it down to medium just to prevent them from burning, but they smell good. You guys can see now that they're brown and good, they're cooking well. And the best part is guys, guess what? Once this recipe is done, we could finally eat this. But we gotta let these cook for a little bit. 
until the um, sausages are nice and browned and until they're no longer pink. Okay, you wanna let these kind of sit and uh, cook for a bit, okay? Remember guys, if you guys wanna know how to make this recipe, you guys know where to go. Now, <clears throat> Um, so, so guys, here's another thing, another thing I got, uh, uh, I'm sorry, another thing I want you guys to do, I want you guys to leave me a comment down below, um, telling me whether or not I should make this video again, um, if I should make this video again, because guys, because guess what guys, if you guys like this video, I will make the video again, okay, I promise, I'll make it again for you guys. But you guys gotta kinda tell me if you guys want me to make this video again, cause this is easy, okay? It's pretty easy. It's, <clears throat> um, <clears throat> now listen guys, um, it's it's relatively quick, it's not that quick, but it's a little quick, it's quick cooking. It takes about maybe 30, maybe about 25, 30 minutes maybe to cook. Cause it takes a while, so you guys know, okay? But basically what you want is you want these to kinda cook a little bit. You want this to, you want the sausage to cook through. Now, how you're gonna know that your sausages are cooked, I'm gonna turn this down a little bit more so that they don't burn. They smell like they're at burning point right now. Um, I'm gonna let this kind of sit and cook. But overall, guys, this looks great. Okay. You want this to kind of cook out a little. Alright, back to medium. Alright, so. Once this is cooked, then I will um, show you what it looks like. But you want this to kind of get cooked. Okay? This looks amazing. Look at this, guys. It smells so good. Okay? Now, you could tell. Now, I know this, the peppers look burned, but they're not really. They're cooking down. You want this to kind of cook a little. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna let these kind of sit and hang out. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so guys, um, another thing I want you guys to know about this dish is that this dish is um great it's a great dish to bring to a party um it's great for entertaining it's just good for anything you guys can make this dish remember i'm here to show you guys how to make this recipe this recipe um is so easy to make it's so simple and it's really delicious remember <clears throat> um <clears throat> remember guys um we cook on this channel okay we make food easy we make it fun most importantly most importantly guys we make it be delicious okay so you guys can see now that the sausages are nice you guys can see that they're kind of see let's kind of cook a little more they look great though all right now the peppers are um are cooking yeah, down exactly see that look at that guys now what I did, now what I did was I turned my heat down to medium because they were cooking, the peppers were burning, so they were cooking a little too fast. But listen guys, if that happens to you, just turn your heat down, whoops, just turn your heat down to medium. And then you'll get um, a more of a, um, of, a, of, a um, of a better result and you'll know, okay? So you want this to kind of cook. Now what I'm doing, kind of, Okay. All right, now, <clears throat> another way you guys know that the sausages are cooked is that the sausages release juice. So there's a lot of, there's fat in here. There's a lot of fat, but the sausages release not only their fat, but they also release a little bit of their oil, which I know what you're thinking. You're thinking it's kind of crazy, but it's the truth, okay? So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna let this kind of cook a little bit. Okay, now if you see that, 
Alright, turn this heat down a little, guys. Alright, I'm gonna turn this down just a little bit because they're kind of, I feel like they're burning. Okay, but you wanna let these kind of. Okay, guys, so what I'm gonna tell you guys again is you wanna keep the peppers at the top. So that they uh, don't burn, okay? All right, guys, I'll be right back, okay? I'll be back in a minute. I'll be right back. Oh, sorry. Okay, guys. So, what, now the sausages are almost done. They're not quite done yet, but we're going to let these cook for a couple more minutes, and then we'll finally be able to eat these. I am so hungry. Um, I know that this is... Now, I'm going to tell you guys something else. This is not an easy recipe, okay? Kind of difficult. Not too bad, but it's kind of difficult to do. You still even for three minutes? Yeah. Put them back in for another three minutes. Okay. Okay. okay, guys, so what I'm going to do now, as this is cooking, we're going to make these bobbins mashed potatoes. So, what we're going to do, we're going to put these in for three minutes, and then we're going to let them cook for another three. Okay? All right. So, we're going to do that. Whoa. We're going to do that now. Alright, now, as that's cooking, back to this, okay? So, what we're going to do to this, is we're going to let these keep going. And what you want to do is you kind of want to give it a mix around. Let them kind of cook. They smell so good, guys. Okay, guys. All right, so, all right, guys. So what I did, what I have here is I have my mashed potatoes cooking. Okay, I have my mashed potatoes cooking. Um, and I have this cooking. Now, what I did now, <clears throat> now what I did was I turned the heat down a little bit so that they, because they were cooking a little, um, a little too fast. So we turned the heat down a little, not too bad, but turned the heat down a little bit so that they'll. They're done. Done. All right, guys. So, as you can see, this is what your dish should look like. See, that's what they need to look like. Now, Anyway guys, so this is what they should look like. They should look nice and brown. This is how they look. Remember, remember like I told you guys in the beginning, this process does take a while. So, our mashed potatoes are cooking. Now, obviously, obviously this recipe is not easy. But you guys know what? This recipe was like very, very kind of simple. It was like a simple kind of recipe. You guys know what I mean? So. I turn the heat off, the heat's off right now, okay? My mashed potatoes, remember, three minutes they're gonna cook for, and then uh, we're gonna cook them for another three. Okay? Okay guys.
Alright guys, so we're gonna, now, when these mashed potatoes are done, we're gonna let them cook again, okay? This is just the first stage of the process. Okay guys, so Alright guys, remember I told you this video is going to be a long one? It is. So, what I'm going to do... And you want to let now. This is not done. Remember, we're letting these cook for another three minutes. Okay. This smells great. All right. Once these are stirred, then I'll put them back in. Let them cook again. Okay. This tastes great. You gotta always taste your product to make sure it tastes good, right, guys? Okay. So now. We're gonna let this cook again. For another three minutes. Okay guys. All right, let me just make sure I'm doing it right. So. All right. So, continue, hold on guys, continue heating for an additional two to three minutes and stir, let stand for two minutes. All right, so I'm gonna let this cook for another two minutes, let that cook for two minutes, and then, once they cook for two minutes, then I'll show you what our dinner looks like, okay? All right, now, um, another thing I wanna tell you guys is that if you guys don't have, um, if you guys don't have um, mild sausage, that's okay, you can just use regular sausage, or, or you can even do this recipe with spicy sausage. That would be even better, okay? But, you know, we keep it kind of simple around here. I mean, I, I mean, I do like spicy. Don't get me wrong, spicy is good. But every once in a while, you kind of need a kind of a mild dish. Like, a, you know, but this looks great. So that's okay, so when our potatoes, are, when our mashed potatoes are done, then I'll show you what. Um, then I'll show you what I'll show you what um this what this um dinner looks like. Okay, but. Now, um, so remember guys, tomorrow we are making a, we're making dinner again, and I think, I think, so what we're going to do tomorrow, so what we're going to do tomorrow, so tomorrow we're going to do slow cooker, okay, so listen guys, tomorrow we're going to do slow cooker buffalo chicken sandwiches. Okay. okay guys, so we have less than 30 seconds. Now, once this, once this is done, then we'll do the next step. So, so after we let them cook, then it says, 
So we're on to step six. So step six says, let's stand surrealistically sit for two minutes before serve. Okay, so look at that guys. It's almost done. So now remember guys, when this dish is done, when this is done, then the video is done. Okay, I've been talking for a really long time guys. Okay guys, now this, so I'm gonna, before we say our goodbyes, we're gonna show you what these mashed potatoes look like because they smell so good. All right, so I'll take these out real slowly. Oh, don't these look good guys? Oh, they smell good. All right guys, so this, is what, okay, what am I doing? What do I do? All right, so we're gonna let these, we're gonna let these sit. Yes, I have, we have to make it with the toast. For two minutes, okay? All right, guys, so this is where I'm gonna end my rep video here. No, we gotta make toast. I'll show you what, all right, guys, so I'm gonna end the video here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this recipe. I'll be back with tomorrow's recipe. Bye, log on. Peace out. Boom, okay, bye, guys.